everybody and welcome to Core Kids Revival TV where the devil can't have me or my family cause this is an eviction notice to the enemy what the chain breakers in the room there's no telling what he's gonna do welcome I just wanted to put that out there I felt that was that was needed right there we need to hear that the devil can't have me or my family. And I am so excited about today. Oh my goodness. You guys have been getting this book all over the world. This book is literally being shipped across seas to other countries. And I am just so excited. Last week we really kicked it off. And this week we're gonna go into our next really intense, really raw story about overcoming evil. Who were the people that were able to overcome evil? Was evil able to overcome some of the people in the Bible? Let's find out why and how so that you can overcome evil. But first, I wanna give you an announcement. Do you know that we actually have core kids and kids, whoever, even if you're not a core kid, we have kid merch. We have shirts for you. We've got like this one right here, it says, Lion of Judah. How many of you love that song? Hail, hail, Lion of Judah. Let the lion roar. Well, I love it and I love this shirt. We actually had this shirt before the song came out. That's okay, because it's in the Bible anyway. And um, we've got tons of shirts, tons of things for you guys to share your faith with people. Look cool and share Jesus too. Wear the word. It's just a powerful way to evangelize. And I just want you all to know that we have a collection, check the collection out. I put the link right there in the description of this video. And we would love for you to have some of our merch. All right, without further ado, let's get into it today. I hope you brought your sword. You gotta open it up and use it. We're actually gonna open it up to Genesis today. And I'm gonna give you some homework so you can go read this, because we're gonna be reading out of my book, but you need to be reading this too. So your homework today, or you can pause the video and you can do it right now, is you're gonna read Genesis chapter three. You're gonna read Genesis chapter three. And we're gonna go right into it. Last week, we covered King Saul and the Witch of Endor, the video somewhere on here. And this week, this week, we are gonna cover Eve speaks with a demon snake. Oh, a what? That ain't good. How did this happen? I'm sorry, but I personally don't speak with snakes. I was gonna say I don't speak to animals, but I was like, yeah, I actually do speak to animals because I speak to my dog, but I have yet to heard my dog say anything back to me. So I'm really interested to see what was really going on in this garden. Are you ready? In the beautiful garden of Eden, there was a kind, curious woman named Eve. She and her husband, Adam, were very happy and they had everything that they needed. One day, a sneaky and tricky snake came to talk to Eve. This snake was no ordinary animal. It was actually a clever demon speaking through the snake. The evil snake tried to convince Eve to do something she knew was wrong. Eve knew and Adam that they were not supposed to eat from a certain tree. God said it was forbidden. She already knew that. Okay, so let's keep going. The demon told lies and made the fruit seem very tempting. That's what the devil does, doesn't he, core kids? He makes things seem so cool, so exciting, so adventurous, so amazing. But you gotta be careful. Make sure that you're not disobeying God by doing those things. Eve knew deep down that she should obey God's rules. Sadly, she gave in to the snake's words and she took a bite. Then, if that wasn't bad enough, she gave some to Adam as well and he ate. As soon as they did, they realized their mistake and they felt very sad and ashamed. All of a sudden, shame came over them. All of a sudden, condemnation came over them. All of a sudden, guilt and bad feelings, negative, horrible feelings that they didn't have before when they were obeying God. God was disappointed in Eve and Adam for disobeying him and they had to leave the garden. 
This story teaches us the importance of listening to God's guidance and being careful of those who try to trick us into doing wrong things. There are so many different parts of this story that I could really talk about. There's so much more to it, but I wanted to hone in on the overcoming evil part. There was an evil character in this story and his name is Satan, the devil. The devil was trying to come and get into the mind of Eve. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to twist things and he was trying to see if she really knew God's word. So we cannot, we cannot, we cannot allow the devil to come and to try to tempt us, twist the word, trick us, be sneaky about stuff. We have to be on our guard against evil. Would you agree? All right, now let's get to the next part of the Overcoming Evil book. I love this part because I give you a lesson and we're gonna talk about a young boy named Jamal. Disobeying God because the devil trying to trick us is something that Christians have to overcome. You are not alone. There's a, all, everybody, all of us have to overcome the devil. The enemy is sneaky. He wants us to make that his, his things that his lies are actually truth, but they're not. This is why we must guard ourselves against this by being faithfully committed to obeying God. No matter what, say, I will. Let me hear you say it. I will obey God. I will obey God. Amen. If you start listening to the wrong voice, immediately run to God. Pray. Ask him to help you. Adam and Eve they ran the other way, away from God, and they hid. We should never do that. God wants us to call on him for help, so call on him today. Here's a story about a young boy named Jamal. Jamal was doing his best to serve God, then one day he started hearing those thoughts about doing bad things. He thought maybe they were his own thoughts, so he just ignored it. But the thoughts got louder, and louder. He prayed and God revealed it was a spirit trying to trick him into disobeying God. So he spoke to the spirit, commanding it to go in Jesus name and it left and those thoughts, they left him too. Wow, that is powerful. Did you hear how this young boy, Jamal, he asked God, he prayed, he went to the place where he knew he was gonna get help. He prayed first and God revealed it to him. Hey, that's a spirit trying to trick you. And what did Jamal do? He handled that spirit with the authority of God. He commanded it in the name of Jesus. You spirit, you deceiving, lying spirit, go now. I'm not listening to you anymore. I bind the hand of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. And the spirit left him and the thoughts that that enemy was trying to bring, they left too. God is so faithful to help us when we call on him. So if you need help with that, why don't you stretch your hands towards the screen right now? We're gonna pray. If you've been tempted, if you've been hearing voices telling you to do wrong, if you've been feeling like the enemy is trying to trick you into hanging out with the bad crew, the wrong people, um, watch the bad things, play bad video games, why don't you stretch your hands forward right now? I'm gonna pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray for my friend right now, God, that you would touch them right now, that you would help them overcome evil in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray that God, that they would listen to the voice of God. Every lying spirit, I break your power. We command you, you're whispering and you're speaking to them to stop now. In Jesus' name, we sever every lying spirit with the blood of Jesus, with the sword of the spirit. And we say that my friend is only hearing from the voice of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Woo! Come on, that was good. I'm proud of you for praying that. And I want you to know that in this book, I actually have written out an entire prayer for you to pray. And at the bottom, I even have scripture verses for you. So make sure that you grab your copy of this because you're gonna wanna keep it by your bedside, or in your backpack, or somewhere where you can read it every single day for strength, for prayers, for writing and journaling your thoughts, Plenty of journaling pages in here for you to do that. And I would love 
to see you guys whenever you write out, if you write out a prayer, send it in to corekidsrevivaltv at gmail.com and I would love to see it, even if you draw a picture. I wanna see it all. I love you guys and stay tuned because I'm gonna show you some amazing Core Kids artwork, videos, pictures, whatever we have for you today. You don't wanna miss this and I will see you next week, Saturday, 10 a.m. for Core Kids Revival TV. My name is Sawyer and I was very afraid of the dark and I would cuddle up inside of my blanket and I would sweat all night and I had all my lights on. And now I watched the Jenny Weaver video, so then I got delivered without me even knowing it. Next month, next week we went to our new house and I started sleeping in the dark without me even realizing it. So then a week later or two, I realized and I got so happy and I was so joyful and I got, I was just like, really, really happy, so.